I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion laptop. The model name for this uh, laptop is a 14-N229 and the model number is an F4G97. So the information can be found on the bottom of the laptop, right on the stickers. It will give you model name 14-N229 and right beside it it will tell you product number which is an F4G97. All right, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how you can make it much faster by removing the mechanical hard drive that it comes in here with a solid state drive. The solid state drives are really fast compared to mechanical drives, and I will recommend you guys to upgrade. You will see a humongous uh, performance uh, increase. All right. Down here, uh, I won't recommend you guys to grab any Kingston brand or a data brand, go with a Crucial brand or Samsung brand. Those are one of the top highest brand quality. I'll leave those links in the video description as well as all the tools that I'll be using in this video. Or you can increase or replace your mechanical drive with a bigger capacity mechanical drive if you wish. But I will suggest you go with a solid state drive. The tools that you're gonna be needing, it's very really simple, a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set. They have one of the best bits out there. They have all the bits that you will need and they are made out of the S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel. You're gonna use a Phillips number one. If you wish to get the pro version on this one, they will give you the opening tool, tweezers, and some uh, wristbands, everything else they will include you or if you don't want to invest, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening powers, plastics, and laptops, pretty much. And you will need a tweezer, a uh, pair of tweezers. All right, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to remove the battery on the bottom cover. So go ahead and slide the sliders and slide the battery back. All right, once we finish with that, we want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover, everything and there are hidden screws under this cover here so we're gonna first loose up these two screws the screws they do have a c lock on them so they will not come out entirely you just have to loose them up and then off grab the opening tool stick it right in the middle and lift it up work a little bit and it should come out from the screw side upward don't do it from the back because somebody already tried to open it i don't know if they open it or not they broke this side and this side. So always make sure you put the back side down. From the between the screw, you have to lift it up. Down here, you're gonna see one, two, three, four hidden screws too. So let's go ahead and remove those screws too. And there's two more hidden screws right here, and one right there. You have to remove these plastic covers right there. They have a little adhesive on them and you want to remove the screws underneath those so i'm going to start from one corner go ahead around and remove all the screws also i realized that there's only one person of my viewers that subscribe to my channel if you guys find my content useful and helping you guys out and you want to support the channel you can do it by clicking subscribe and like on my videos i really greatly appreciate it and it will be a tremendous support and it will actually help me to answer your question, take requests. All right, now that we remove all these screws, I'm not gonna still pull on this DVD drive here to pull it out, even if it remove the screw because I can damage the cover, the face plate on this one. Sometimes it gets really hard, so we don't want to do that. We want to get back to this one. There's a one screw right underneath. Now we're going to flip it over and we are going to remove the keyboard first by pulling the opening tool on the top part and just squeeze it in there. I just rotate, pry it open. Doing it right on the top row only, and I'm gonna grab it from the middle and pull it up so you can release the sides. Bring it over and bend it over. 
open up this latch right here the black cover just 90 degrees upward and slide the flex cable back now down here i can see the dvd drive right here and i can actually grab it from here and push it that way and you see the dvd drive comes out and i don't have to force the face plate on this one and there's one more screw under here and we're going to remove that one in a second okay and down here there's a two hidden screws right in here they were not visible because of the dvd drive so go ahead and remove these two screws these are the short screws and there's a chrome screws and we're going to remove these screws too all right now we're gonna grab a tweezers and we're gonna open up the lock for this trackpad 90 degrees up and slide the flex cable out for power switch same thing lift up the lock slide out the flex cable now we're gonna close it down remove actually i thought they on this model sometimes they do come and screw right underneath and sometimes they don't all right so there's nothing down there to remove so we're gonna actually open it back up now we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna shove it between the top and the bottom cover right here and we're just gonna twist twist do it all in the front and the side go all the way to the back corner this side too once you did the front and the side and the back and just lift it up wiggle it around a little bit and this side is not coming up entirely so let me see if i didn't miss a screw down there uh, i have not missed a screw so i should be fine just by pulling it up so you can either help it out wiggle it around a little bit it should release itself and lift it up 90 degrees upward and you will be able to remove it. This is your palm rest. Put it to one side. And the hard drive is right over here. The hard drive has a rubber caddy. So in order to get to this one, we have to remove this flex bridge cable that goes from an audio and USB port to this side. Lift up the hinge. Remove the flex cable. Remove the tiny screw that holds it in the middle. Once you did that, now we are going to lift up this board from the back end bring it up and remove put it to one side lift up the hard drive from this side up bring it up and then once you bring it up once you bring it up now pull it pull it this way so you can release these hinges in there and now we're going to remove this caddy but the adapter right here put your finger right there and remove the adapter and there you have the hard drive this is a 750 gig and we're going to replace it with a solid state drive which is this one over here in order to remove we need the caddy to hold it in place the caddy is being held down by one two three four screws make sure the orientation of the SATA connections and the power are facing the same position so you don't want to put it out uh, upside down otherwise it's not going to match the contacts so go ahead and remove these four screws, two on each side. All right, now that we removed it, we're just going to simply grab it, put it to one side, grab this one, and bring it over and put it on top. Now remember, once you do this, you will not have any operating system on this hard drive. I made a link how to create your own usb windows 10 usb boot drive i'll leave the link in the video description once you create your windows 10 uh, usb boot drive you can watch my other video again i'll leave the link in the video description on how to install windows 10 from usb boot drive on an hp laptop all the hp laptops pretty much have the same way of booting up so it doesn't have to be this specific one and i'll leave you the, on that link i'll show you the proper way of installing the windows 10. so check those out in order to get your windows unless you know how to install it already
All right, once you get the hard drive in here, grab the adapter, just push it in there, put this side right under the hinges, slide them down underneath, right there, and then slide it all the way to the bottom case. Grab the audio jack, push them in there, make sure it goes nicely in place. Put the one screw that was holding it and open up the jack, slide it underneath, hold it and lock it down. The last thing would be to grab the palm rest, bring it over 90 degrees straight on top, push it down and squeeze the bottom and pinch the bottom and the top cover. Make sure you hear those click sound. You don't want to hear those. On the back side too, once you did that, now you want to switch, put the flex cable for this one in. Slide it all the way in and lock it down. And lock it down. Put the two screws right under the DVD drive, the hidden ones. And put the three chrome screws right on the plate. Right. Once we're finished in here, we're gonna grab the DVD drive, slide it in place, all the way down. Grab the keyboard, slide the ribbon flex cable right underneath from one side, and lock it in place. Put down the bottom of the keyboard on bottom end, first on, under the palm rest. And then you want to grab it from the middle. So you give this kind of curvature here. So you can lock the sides, hold it down. And you want to do Spider-Man way here and push the other side and then release and push down the upper F keys all the way down. So you hear those clicks. Once you did that, all you need to do is flip it upside down. And we're going to place all the screws and the tiny rubbers on the top. And that should be all. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment, video description. And always try to answer all my comments. If you have any requests, again, leave them in there. I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I hope I see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up tidying up all this.